Procyon and the Guest. Uh, do you know either of them? I'm not too sure about them. Nope, but who a Diddy, a Diddy Kong. Kong. We've, we've been seeing a lot of Diddy Kongs lately in, uh, in SoCal. I've seen a lot of them in pools, and especially a lot of them getting very, you know, inspired by watching Tweak's gameplay of Diddy Kong at Summit. Yep. All We're right. getting right into a Diddy Kong Pikachu. Um, both small characters uh, in stature, but have a lot of great ways to rack percent. And Diddy Kong, of course, with that banana, um, is going to be very important for the, the Pikachu to kind of avoid that. Yeah, in my opinion, the guest really wants to play neutral very far away, sitting with banana and trying to dash dance back and forth and, you know, dominating the, the ground area. Whereas Pikachu, since he has better mobility in the air, and especially with that quick attack, as you can see coming in, He's gonna really need to, you know, avoid ground-based exchanges. Exactly. But these thunder jolts coming in, putting in a lot of work. What do you think about this matchup so far? I mean, what I'm seeing a lot of is Procyon getting away with um, a lot of like the uppies and more aggressive options, and thunder jolts definitely gonna play a big factor on a flatter stage. And I want to see the Diddy Kong kind of come into his own in the space and maybe use that banana to cover landing options or approach options in general. Mm -hmm. I really feel that Diddy Kong struggles in this particular matchup just because, yeah, you could get a trip off of Pikachu when he's on the ground, but when is Pikachu ever on the ground? Yep. Look, as all these quick attacks, almost unpunishable for Diddy Kong. You kind of have to read that option or even read what they're going to do right after the quick attack. All the way on the other side now, good back air out of the shield from Procyon. He has a ledge here. He has the banana in hand going off of the forward air, not getting a connection. Forward tilt the wrong way. He's been getting away out of a disadvantage with these quick attacks so uh, so well. And that dash attack sending, uh, not to be able to kill quite yet, but he has a ledge here. You have to what be really careful tilt. with all those monkey flips that you're going to do because it's, it's a really good move as a command grab option and a burst option. But again, if you use it a little bit too much, they're gonna read it and they're gonna, you know, dash back forward smash and dash back, uh, dash attack you, you know? Yeah. But as you can see, resetting neutral. Ooh, getting a grab off of that uh, Thunder Jolt and a shield from uh, Procyon and or the guest, I'm sorry, and it's relatively close. I mean, even though he has so much percent on him, uh, both of them can find kills here. And as I say that, finding a dash attack to be able to close out the stock, uh, final destination, an interesting choice for the guest here. Um, it's going to be much harder for him to land, especially on final destination against a character with a really good uh, sharking up air like Pikachu. But that's the thing. Once the guest actually gets rolling, especially with banana, and especially with stage control, it's so, so hard for Pikachu to kind of do anything to get out of disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could quick attack like he's been doing, but I really want to see the guest adapt and try to put down a banana to cut off options, just like that. Exactly. Fantastic job with the forward smash. And to Procyon's credit, he's, he's been really using the airspace well and really utilizing the quick attack to kind of uh, mix up where he's going to land versus the guest and get that off. And you see here the guest is kind of getting into his own here um, with the Diddy Kong, feeling out the, the air game a little bit more, using that double jump, using full hops to try to pull bananas and shark under those uh, Thunder Jolt attempts. Oh, I've, I'm really starting to see there's a lot of instant quick attacks coming in, and I feel like the guest is starting to pick up on it. Even if guest is not really doing anything on the ground, you can see Pikachu always trying to thunder jolt or try to quick attack on the other side of Diddy Kong because they think that, oh yeah, I'm safe. No, you can't really do that. Diddy Kong's a very fast character, and especially if you just leave him to his own devices with banana, he's just going to shark you out with a lot of, you know, banana F smash combos, you know? Yeah, and we saw early on the Pikachu had to leave, but now the guest bringing this back, and um, holding on to the banana here with the ledge pressure. He went for the Z drop down air, but Procyon able to evade it. Back air to punish the quick attack. Banana out of shield back there. I like that from uh, the guest to get more uh, stage control. Yeah, he didn't want to steal his F smash. He didn't want to steal his up smash because he knew that, you know, Diddy Kong, it's, it's, it's hard to kill. Uh, like, you have to kill every character at like, you know, 130, uh, 130 plus percent. But the fantastic aggressive quick attack onto the stage, back air mm. not going to be doing anything just yet. I, I really like these quick attacks, though. I want to see um, the Pikachu kind of get into his own with the edge guard and ledge trapping. He's been kind of giving away the ledge against Diddy Kong, who uh, will struggle to get back to the stage with the correct edge guard read. And back here, not stellar DI from that is going to be able to take it for the uh, for the guest. Yeah, right there. After racking up so much percent with just you know forward airs and basic you know back throw banana combos, you're one scrap, and you know you could kill Pikachu at that percent. I feel like guest is playing this really really well now. Just. Not wanting to go for these super long extended combos that Diddy Kong is famous for because of Tweak and these resets, but instead opts to play the more uh, hit and run game, you know, the more strong, straight hits. You know? Yeah, and I mean, it's been working out so far. He's getting these one hit and he's just really playing uh, very safe with his face to kind of control um, the percent he's taking. So he's really holding on to this lead in a very good way, down throw into forward air. But, you know, Procyon, he has, the, he's, he has these opportunities to get these early kills with the edge guards, but he hasn't been finding any of them. Uh, dude, these. 
Z-Drop borders is so good. He's It's really mixing up because he's thinking, oh, he can't really do anything because the banana's in hand, right? Yep. And wow, what a conversion off of that banana getting more percent and really extending his lead. But I want to see Procyon find the kill here before uh, the guest runs away with it. You can kind of see Procyon right now and figuring out, okay, once he has banana, he has to play very defensive and you just have to scout out the monkey flip at that point. But, you know, unfortunately, he's getting hit by it and oh. fantastic back here. That's one thing. Yep. Super, super scary in, is when you have banana or an item from the other opponent because the other opponent knows, hey, this guy can't really attack. This guy can't grab. This guy can't do a lot of things. All he could do is throw banana. And because, you know, items are really weird and specialists know the ins and outs of what you could do with or without the item, he's just able to scout it out and fantastic back air to close out that game. And you're seeing that a lot with the double forward air he got on the uh, two quick attack attempts where um, Diddy Kong's Z drop and then do an aerial and recatch the banana. It's just like the optimization of um, item play that you see of a lot of characters with the item, snakes, you know, uh, duck hunts and of course Diddy Kong's now, but um, to Procyon's credit, he did take the early stock there, but he's been unable to find these uh, ledge traps and the kills that Pikachu's known for. Yeah, yep. Now getting into game number two, what do you think about this counter pick over to Pokemon Stadium 2? Because I would feel that playing on a you know more platform heavy stage such as Battlefield would be the play, you know? Yeah, I mean maybe he wants like the lack of platform because he saw early on he was really succeeding in the air game, but um, you know this pick is you can really hardly ever go wrong with this pick. Most characters do uh, just fine on this stage. Yeah, it's probably like, you know, one of the most fair stages, excluding, you know, characters like Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. All right, but getting back into this Fantastic Neutral coming in, trying to hit him with the dash back banana, but Pikachu pancaking. Yeah, I mean, that, that's such an interesting interaction because both of these characters are very short, but they're unable to kind of hit each other. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, you can kind of see there's, you know, very combo heavy characters such as, you know, uh, Sheik, uh, such as Wolf and stuff. And then you see these small characters out prey off of stray hits and just ba staying at the advantage the whole time. Mm -hmm. And uh, here, I mean, um, Procyon looking much more comfortable here, keeping the percent very even. And same thing with the guest. The guest has been getting very good uh, coverages on the landing options, uh, which I think is very important with Diddy Kong. And uh, he's really pushing him into the corner, which is exactly what he wants to rack percent into the eventual kill. Ooh, you can kind of see right now the guest playing a little bit more comfortable with these platforms on the stages because the thing is, on Final Destination, he wasn't able to shark with the up smash all too much just because he doesn't know where Procyon's going at all. Whereas over here for Pokemon Stadium 2 platforms, he's able to shark it out and fantastic monkey flip to command grab kill him. The amazing synergy with Diddy Kong having a, a projectile that makes you want to shield and finding a monkey flip command grab that is such a great zone breaker. And he was able to find the kill off the command grab version to punish the shield. Yeah, it's such a good, you know, surprise option from Diddy Kong because what? If he doesn't have banana, he only has really dash attack, dash grab, and, you know, the monkey flip command grab. So you're going to see a lot come out when the guest doesn't have a banana. Mm -hmm. Good four throw off stage and finally finding an edge guard there. Very good stuff. Getting the four throw, reading the double jump with that four there, and it fully connecting, thankfully, and able to find the kill there. Ooh, I really like that conversion down smash just to get Procyon off the stage and trying to keep ledge stage. Good forward air from uh, the guest to keep him in the corner. Procyon needs to find his way out using these Thunder Jolts to build some stage control and uh, make his way back to the center of the stage. But, oh, falling out of the nair, very unfortunate. Wanted that drag down to get some more percent. But both of these players heavily relying on these stray hits. And as I say that, what a conversion off of that back air. Oh, he doesn't have uh, any resources, but unfortunately misses that up, that second up air just a little bit, but gets the trip with the down tilt. Ooh, getting a little bit of a air to air situation. And what a Ooh. call out on that high monkey flip. Yeah, you can kind of see right now when Procyon ups up the tempo just a bit where Diddy Kong really can't do anything off of a disadvantage. But because the guest is slowing down the gameplay right now, resets neutral, gets his banana back, and really now it's back to, okay, I'm going to be straight hitting. I really like that small, those, those small interactions back then because that was when you could actually really see how well these players play fast pace, whereas, you know, slow pace, all neutral. Very, very good zone breaker with that dash attack, not finding a kill. and. Um, the gas finding one of his own with that banana play. Banana's been playing such a, a crucial part in the killing here, and if Procyon's able to, one, either keep the banana or find the kills just like he can, then it's going to be a very close match. And as I say that, of course, they tying it up a very close uh, game number two here. Yeah, he, that was a good down smash to just kind of get pro, uh, the guests jumping or, you know, doing really anything. And you see these Thunder Jewels coming out trying to pick up space, but again, 
Thunder Drill, kind of, you know, it, it's a good move, but it's just kind of slow once, you know, you're in the air and trying to do anything. And wow. And that's another call out on that uh, quick attack. I want to see uh, more safe quick attacks or maybe just kind of use it a little bit less as a mix up um, because now he's just kind of going for it and getting pretty heavily punished. And if the guest is able to find a read on it, it's going to be uh, pretty catastrophic. Oh, you can kind of see these Zero Drops coming out and both players utilizing their, you know, they're no neutral type of move, trying to go in and trying to say, hey, I want to be in the advantage right now. But it's really hard because both these characters are so, so mobile. Fantastic job getting the grab out of the monkey flip and unfortunately drops the combo just because they're, these are all strings. These yep. characters could get out of strings so easily because they're small bodies. Exactly. Uh, falling out of the nair loop for uh, the guest. And I like that the approach where he's really, really covering the ground with the Thunder Jolt and then trying to shark with an up air to cover the platform. But uh, I mean, the guest has such a big lead here in 60% that he's able to really play uh, much more defensively and kind of hold his lead. Yeah, you could really see the strength of Diddy Kong holding the lead, especially with Banana holding center stage, because that's really what Diddy Kong wants to do. Diddy Kong doesn't want to play from behind, try to do anything with his, you know, kind of abysmal approach options without Banana. Yeah. But you can kind of see now both players. Yeah. Fantastic monkey flip on the other side of the stage. Tries to punish that, unfortunately, a little bit too late and gets mm -hmm. Banana up smash. That's just, it's just the amount of awareness you need to have. It really makes your opponent think that much more when you have a projectile like Banana that causes a trip. It's 